Hello everyone, welcome to yoga. Thank you so much for showing up on the mat with me today. So this practice, we are going to start lying on our backs. We're gonna do some stretches with the legs pointing straight up to the sky. If you prefer to have some sort of strap, belt, towel, something that you can put around the foot to give you a little bit more length in the arms, that can be a nice thing to have. If you are like, I am settled on my mat, I do not wanna get up and walk over there and get a towel, it's fine. I will not be using one, so I will demonstrate how to do it without. Sound good? Okay. Find your way down onto your back on the mat. And you can have the knees bent if that feels better. You can have the legs out long, maybe the toes flopping out to the sides, maybe palms facing up. Sometimes I like to spread my arms out to the sides and just take up a little bit more space. Kind of reminds me that I am allowed to take up space in the world. Some of us need to be reminded of that. So just take a few deep breaths here and just also reminding yourself that everything we do today, it's optional. I'm going to make some suggestions. You make decisions about what works in your body today. You can modify, you can make it more complicated, you can make it less complicated. You can just lie here for the next 28 minutes and that's good too. So try to make your body as heavy as possible on the mat here. Relax through the jaw and the belly. Relax the palms of the hands and just notice what's happening in the mind right now. Maybe you are looking forward to this practice. Maybe you are dreading this practice. Maybe you are feeling a bit of both. All fine. No need to label anything good or bad. Just embrace the duality of what it's like to live in this very complicated human body and human mind. Take a deep inhale. And let that go. Great job. Bend up both knees if they're not already. And hug them into the chest. So lots of options for doing this. We're gonna get a little spinal twist going. So you can just shift the knees side to side a little bit. See how that feels. If you wanna go a little further and want to engage the abdominal muscles, you might wanna take the arms out like a T. See what happens if you let the knees fall all the way to one side, slowly coming back all the way to the other side. You can allow the gaze to go in opposite directions if you'd like. Just thinking about how to get a twist in that spine. Good, one more time to each side. Nice, come back to center. Get long here. So arms reach up overhead, feet reach away from you. And then draw the feet over towards the right bottom corner of the mat and hands come to the right top corner of the mat. So you're kind of making a banana shape with the body here, stretching out through the left side. So maybe that right hand wants to gently grab for the left wrist and give a very, very gentle encouragement over to the side. So looking to feel the stretch on the side waist of that left side body.
keeping hips and shoulders flat on the mat. And then when you're ready, walk the hands and the feet over to the left bottom corner, left top corner of the mat. Maybe reaching for that right wrist this time. Very gentle encouragement so that you feel a stretch along the right side body, up through the right armpit, all the way up to those right fingertips. One more deep breath here. Good, and bring it back, bending up those knees. Again, feet plant on the mat and walk the heels in sort of close to the bum so you can reach down and maybe almost touch the heels with your fingertips. Feet are hip width and parallel. We're gonna come into bridge pose. So press feet into the mat, hips gently rise up and then slowly coming down. Good, so we're gonna do this several times, thinking about moving, articulating the spine very slowly, very gently here. If you would like to involve the arms, when the hips lift, arms can reach up towards the sky and then come all the way overhead, thumbs hitting the ground behind you. And exhale, everything comes slowly down so that pinky fingers and bum land on the mat at the same time. Good, so you can work with the breath here. One big inhale as everything lifts and one long exhale as everything comes back down to the mat. Good. So really taking our time here so just move intentionally. Good, come up one last time and plant the hands on the mat if they're not there already. So planting the hands next to your body, hips are lifted, squeeze the bum, and stay here for a moment. If you want extra challenge, you can see what happens if you march the feet, lifting up one foot and then the other. Good really working the glutes and the core here. Good, one more time on each side if you're doing this little march. Beautiful work, everything comes down, knees into the chest, hug. Maybe a little side to side and breathe here. Good, deep inhale and let that go. Nice, right leg comes up. This is the time where you can put a strap or a towel around that right foot. If you don't have that, you can grab wherever calf muscle. Maybe you're super stretchy and you can grab the big toe. Maybe you're grabbing the pant leg, maybe behind the thigh. Whatever you're doing, that left leg can be bent or straight, you're giving a gentle pull towards you. So flex the foot so you're kicking through the heel. And this can get pretty intense. So let the shoulders relax down onto the mat. And breathe. So really drawing those toes down towards your face, kicking through the heel and really work to get a straight knee. So if that means the leg has to be much farther away from the body, absolutely fine. I'd rather you work here with a straight knee than up really close with a bent leg. You're not gonna get the, the stretch we're going for here as much. So just work where you're at. Take one more breath here. And then exhale, let that right foot slide over to the left a little bit. Yowza, this one always gets me. <laughs> As evidenced by the term yowza. Uh, this gets in the IT band on the 
the outside of that right leg. So just understand, you don't have to go way over to the left to feel the intensity here. Wherever you feel that, stop, breathe. You can swear at me if you'd like, it's fine, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Take a deep breath in. And gently bring it back. Let's switch those legs out. So that right knee can be bent or out long. Left leg comes up, grab wherever you would like. This is where that strap can go around the foot, towel, belt. Uh, I know someone who does this with a dog toy. I don't care, it doesn't matter. Your dog might, but I'm fine with it. So putting something around the foot or grabbing for whatever you've got here. Kicking through the heel, draw that leg a little bit closer to you. So the discomfort you might be feeling here, that is a success. So see if you can be both uncomfortable and proud of yourself. Seems like an unusual combination, but it actually works. Draw those toes down towards your face. See if you can straighten that knee just a tiny little bit more. And then when you're ready, see if you can shift that foot over to the right a little bit. Finding that stretch migrating over to the outside of that left leg. Keep kicking through that heel. The shaking is good. Let those shoulders be relaxed on the mat. Both hips flat on the mat. Bum is flat on the mat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Put that leg down. Take a moment here. Deep breath in. And a long exhale. Excellent job. Find your way over into tabletop pose. If you want to roll forward and back, you can do it that way. You can roll over onto your side, whatever works to find your way to table. Maybe extending table a little bit, hands in front of the shoulders, knees underneath the hips to start, tuck the toes downward, facing dog, hips are high. You can walk out your dog a little bit, shake your head yes and no. Find that stillness, that mental stillness might be very hard to find, but down dog is a good place to find it. Gaze is between the feet. Press all 10 fingers into the mat. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend those knees a whole lot. Walk up to the top of the mat. Feet are wide. Ragdoll. So forward fold here. You might want to sway side to side a little bit. When you're ready, bend those knees a whole lot. And roll or hinge up to standing at the top of the mat. Palms face forward. Take a moment here, mountain pose. Maybe you want to bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly, maybe hands to heart space and just breathe. You can set an intention if you would like. You can take a moment of gratitude. Just find right now your why. You might be full of emotions and feelings and some of them might conflict and you might be both thrilled and devastated to be in this moment. It's all good. Deep inhale. And let that go. 
Good, release the arms, reach them all the way up, gaze goes up, and then exhale, fold all the way forward, hinging at those hips. Take a halfway lift, long spine, hands to the legs, and then fold all the way down. Good, reach all the way up again, lifting the heels, coming into extended mountain, set the gaze in one spot, core is engaged, legs might be wobbly, it's a-okay. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, heels come down, fold all the way down. Good, take that halfway lift and fold. Reach all the way up again. Good, coming into a little back bend here. Thumbs reach behind you, hips shift forward. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Release those arms up, and then release those arms down. Palms face forward and breathe. Maybe hand to heart, hand to belly, feel the breath, feel the heart rate. If you have conflicting emotions, can that be okay? Can you be both grateful and struggling? Can you be strong and afraid? Can you be vulnerable and powerful? Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Beautiful job. Step to the top of the mat if you're not already there. Big step back with the right foot. Land on the toes. So. Let's work with the heel lifted if that feels reasonable to you today. If you are like, no thank you, drop that heel down, toes on an angle. If it feels okay to have the heel lifted, it's gonna make the balance more challenging. That's what we're going for. Hands coming to the hips to start. Working to get that back knee straight or near straight and then bend deeply into that front knee. Working to get hips and shoulders square to the top of the mat. That's going to be a little more challenging if the heel is down, but that's what we're working towards. Sinking down into the hips and if and when you're ready, you want to reach the arms up, but drop the shoulders down. Good, set the gaze in one spot. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, arms circle around, coming to interlace behind the back. Lots of options here. You can squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the hands off the tailbone, coming into a little back bend here. If you like this, stay right here. If you want something different, Come into Humble Warrior, dropping the heart down to the inside of that left thigh. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's a lot. I don't care. Reaching the arms up if the head is dropping down. Deepening the breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lifting up. Hands coming to the hips, right? It's wobbly when you come out, it's okay. Step that back foot up, palms face forward and breathe. And just notice here. What are all the things that you're noticing? Can you hold space for all of them? Deep breath in. And a long exhale. <sighs> Let's do that other side. So that left foot's gonna come back. Maybe you're landing on the toes. Maybe you want to open up the hip a little bit, dropping the heel down. 
and then working towards getting hips and shoulders square to the top of the mat, bending deeply into that front knee, maybe hands on the hips to help get yourself oriented, shoulders dropping down so that when you reach up, you're not jamming shoulders into ears. So relax the toes here, sinking down. Beautiful, and then find what works for you here. So maybe you wanna stay with the arms up. Maybe you like taking this bind. Also an awesome chance to use that strap or towel here if those hands are just not gonna meet behind the back. Perhaps opening up through those shoulder blades and staying right here, perhaps finding a gentle shift forward here, perhaps dropping heart down to the inside of that thigh. Whatever you're doing, you're being really cautious of the neck here. Thinking about the back of the neck as an extension of the spine, keeping it comfortable, keeping it safe. See if you can open that heart a little bit more. Five, four, three, two. Lovely, come on up. Releasing hands to hips. Step it up. Palms face forward. Some people think this practice needs to be graceful. It does not. I'm okay if you stumble. I do all the time. I'm okay if your legs are shaking. I'm okay if you fall out completely. This is how we are reminded of our humanity. We do not have to be perfect here. Yoga does not ask that of us ever. We are allowed to be both capable and lost. Deep breath in. And a long exhale. Excellent job. We're going to come down onto knees here. So you might want to uh, fold up your yoga mat to give a little padding for the knees. I like that. Uh, you don't want to mess with the knees ever. So tops of the feet flat on the mat here. Hands coming to the low back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You might want to stay right here. Fantastic. Stay here. If you want more Heart lifts, hips go forward. Keep the chin tucked here. So you can let the head go back if that feels good. I don't love that one. I'm gonna keep my chin tucked here and send hips forward and squeeze shoulder blades. And I'm going to breathe. Five, four, squeeze the bum two and one beautiful come up hips to heels or maybe folding all the way forward coming into child's pose and just noticing if there is any chatter in the mind Can you treat it in a loving, accepting way, but also returning the focus to right now? Deep inhale. And sigh it out. Slowly coming up and making your way down onto your back. So unfold that mat if you had it doubled over. 
Making your way onto the back, knees coming in to the chest. And let's find that spinal twist again. So knees going side to side, maybe even circles here, giving a little massage to the low back. If you want any final movements before Shavasana, feel free to take them now. Maybe a figure four, a hip opener, legs straight up for waterfall, another twist. You do what you need to feel complete. And when you've done that, get your body in the most comfortable position for your resting pose. You can sit up if that feels better. You can um, find a position on your back, on your side, whatever you need, but let the eyes close. Let the breath deepen. Let all tension holding release out of the body. This is your integration. This is your paycheck. This is what we have been working towards with our asana practice is this moment to rest the mind and body. So can we hold these opposing truths? Can we be both loving and angry? Can we be kind and set boundaries? Can we be successful and suffering? The answer is yes in case you were wondering. We can be all of the things. So allow that. You contain multitudes. That's a beautiful thing to allow there to be space for all of you, to take up space in the world. Many of us spend a lot of time denying big pieces of ourselves. It's exhausting and it doesn't work very well. So when we can allow, when we can work with the things we used to try to hide and avoid and deny because we think we shouldn't feel that or be that or we don't want to have those more unpleasant human emotions. It's just futile. So I am working on allowing it all. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Maybe reaching arms up overhead. If you can stay in your shavasa for longer, please do that. If you are ready to move on with your day, you can come to a seated position maybe hands resting on the lap, maybe coming to heart space. Returning to the intention or 
moment of gratitude that you might have taken towards the beginning of our class. Just recognizing that and then letting it go. Thank you so much for coming to the mat today, for allowing me to lead you through your practice. May you be well, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and live with peace. Namaste. Fantastic job. I will see you next time.